Generic Inquiry Anomaly Detection. In 2024 R2, Acumatica introduced GI anomaly detection so users can quickly identify and highlight potential data issues and easily configure scenarios to meet their individual business needs. Acumatica's approach to anomaly detection utilizes an in-house AI engine to keep data from going outside the Acumatica cloud, thus speeding processing time and reducing processing costs. We augment our internal architecture with external services in some cases, such as Azure AI and external optical character recognition. All Acumatica AI solutions comply with our principles of innovation, which ensure your ERP data does not get exposed on a public cloud. In addition, we emphasize the practical aspects of delivering AI, so our solutions are easy to implement. Enable generic inquiries in seconds and utilize background processing so results are automatically available. For my demo, I'll process steps A, B, and C that you see here manually so you can see the process in action. During the initial launch in 24R2, we introduced some limits to ensure we can deliver service with the high degree of reliability you expect from Acumatica. We may introduce fees to cover the cost of providing this service in the future. As an AP clerk, I start my day by looking at my dashboard. I notice that the system found several potential issues. Drilling down, I get the generic inquiry that has sorted through the records and revealed potential anomalies. When I click filter by group, the system narrows the search to a specific inventory ID. In this example, I can see unusual accommodation expenses. If I drill into a specific bill, I can investigate the issue. In this example, Jane Doe's hotel stay was a bit more expensive than usual. If that's okay, I can check this item as reviewed so it no longer appears on my dashboard. When I filter based on Legos, notice that there are two lines where there is a price difference between the purchase order price and the price on the AP bill. The system flags the one with a significant deviation from the normal value. I can drill down and see that this bill has not been paid yet, so I can proactively take action by adding a note. Before continuing investigation, I can go back to my main dashboard, refresh the widget, and notice that my account of anomalies has been reduced by one. In some cases, the system does not get enough data about specific inventory items to draw an accurate conclusion. When the anomaly severity is empty, I can see these items. Configuring a generic inquiry is simple. Start by selecting a generic inquiry with data you want to analyze and review. Check the Detect Anomalies flag and navigate to the Anomaly Detection tab. Select the value you want to analyze. The Date field helps the system identify trends to more accurately predict anomalies. For example, if you analyze trending data, you will get different results depending on whether you add a date field to the timeline, as explained here. Acumatica provides this feature so you can accurately analyze fields like your year-to-date sales that grow over time. Acumatica gives you the option to set groups. If your sales margin varies by product or customer, then grouping will tell the system to analyze data specific to the grouping. Do not slice the data too many ways. For example, if you add inventory and customer ID, the system will not have enough rows to analyze if customers do not purchase the same inventory on a frequent basis. The system will automatically calculate anomalies based on the frequency settings. In this demo, I'll run the process manually. Once configured, I click the Detect Anomalies button to go to the processing screen. First, I upload the data for the GI I just enabled. Next, I execute the next step to start the calculation process. Depending on the size of the data set, this can take a few minutes. The system informs me if the calculation is not yet complete. I'll speed the video up here. Next, I retrieve the calculated results. The system appends the results to my inquiry results so I can perform analysis. In this example, the system identified a few items that our sales team may have discounted too heavily. The system includes other examples you can use, such as this inquiry, to help purchasing managers identify the costs and trends of outliers. I created this inquiry 
to match purchase order and AP bills, so finance teams can easily identify when vendor bills do not match the values on the purchase order. Prior to the demonstration, I added a widget to my AP Clerk dashboard. This slide contains some information on how you can do that. Feedback is always welcome. Feel free to add ideas on the Acumatica community pages.